and welcome to 365 Astronomy. Today we'll be looking a little deeper into astrophotography. You may have already seen one of our films relating to this type of equipment, the lightweight portable equipment. My colleague John showed a red cat on a AZ GTI mount like this and um, at some point you're going to want to move up to something perhaps a little bigger. And this is where we come to this type of product. Moving up in size, from the smaller scopes that we saw behind us, this is now a 72mm apochromatic astrograph. Apochromatic means that it has very, very little chromatic aberration. And this is achieved by having a triplet objective lens using extra dispersion glass. And in this particular case, the telescope also has a built-in field flattener. The idea being that this can be used with large sensor cameras, DSLRs and cameras like the ZWO camera here we've got here. Before we get too deeply into the uh, telescope and its ancillaries, it is important to talk about the mount that's going to be put on. These telescopes and all the bits and pieces attached weigh quite a bit more and the longer, longer focal length will require a much steadier mount. The mount being here used here is a Skywatcher AZ EQ5 GT. It has a payload of about 15 kilograms, which is more than enough for this. This whole rig weighs around about seven or eight kilograms. And as a rough guide, you should be looking at using half the maximum payload of the, of the mount for carrying a rig for astrophotography uses. Most mounts like this are controlled by a pad which connects through to the motor board inside the mount. However, if you're like me, you probably won't want to be standing outside for too long in the cold. And a very easy fix for this is to fit a Wi-Fi unit, this device here, called a Wi-Fi dongle, which works with the SynScan Pro app. You can then operate the whole rig via a tablet or your mobile phone. MC Pro. It's a cooled camera, is extremely sensitive and has a one inch sensor. The one inch sensor is a little bit misleading because actually it's about 16 millimeters on the diagonal, but still plenty big enough to give you some really good wide field shots. You don't have to use a CCD camera like this because supplied with the telescope is an adapter unit which will carry a DSLR it's threaded at 48 millimetres and provides exactly the right backspacing for a Canon camera. And with a small adjustment, you can use the Nikon, which is only about one millimetre different. The telescope itself has a 10 to 1 reduction drive focus unit here. And the whole camera and focus unit can be rotated on the end of the telescope and clamped in position. On the far side of the telescope there's a carry handle just here which is slotted to accept uh, for any further accessories you may want to add. A finder shoe is fitted so that you can fit either a finder or as in this case we fitted a guide scope and guide camera. These have yet to be wired up on this particular one. Now you may have noticed this on the other side this is a ZWO EAF, Electronic Autofocuser, and this gets its power from the ASIO Pro, which I'll tell you a little bit more about in a moment. Moving further up, we have additional fixing points on, on the saddle uh, brackets. Uh, and once again, you can put additional uh, fixtures, uh, finder scopes, uh, you could mount your um, guide scope on the top there if you prefer as well. Just here we've fitted uh, a dew heater and this is also powered from the ASIA Pro, although not controlled by it. And you get a good view of the lens here. The specification for the telescope is 400 millimetres focal length, 72 mil aperture, which gives it a, a, um, an F ratio of 5.6. Now, if you're anything like me, you may well have two or three of these around the house, an Android tablet, 
and this device can be used to control the whole system including the mount. I prefer to use the mount being controlled separately using the Synscan Pro app but the ASIO Pro has its own software so I tend to use a separate tablet for, you, for driving that. Just makes it a little simpler from my point of view. This is the most important part of the system. It provides, takes in power from your 12 volt battery and has uh, four outputs on there which will distribute 12 volts to any of the necessary ancillaries. There's enough power here to run dew heaters, it will power your guide scope, your main scope and cooling. It will also power an electronic filter wheel which we haven't got fitted here yet and also the electronic autofocuser. The SEO Pro is a relatively recent device, it's been around for a year or so perhaps now, and it replaces the previous ASIO standard model. It does have some advantages over it, which I've mentioned some of them already, but perhaps one of the biggest is that it has onboard data storage. The previous model used a micro SD card and could only store around about 20 gigabytes of data. The later model has uh, supplied 64 gigabyte USB stick and you can record onto both of those or if you're using a DSLR of course you can record onto your SD card in the normal way. Once you've made your captures you can download them to your computer by Wi-Fi or you can take the, chip, take the USB stick and card out and download them directly onto your computer. One of the things I like particularly about the SEA Pro is it gives you the freedom to work from indoors. There's no more of this standing around outside, huddling around in the cold. Everything that you can need to control on your telescope, image capture, image focus, filter wheel control, auto guiding, supplying power to the mount and controlling the mount if you want to. It all can be done from inside. Well, I hope all that has been some use to you. It's worth doing research before buying equipment like this. This complete outfit here is worth something like £3,500. So you do need to make sure you're buying the right things and that it all fits together properly and works together properly. Going to a company like 365 Astronomy can give you all the advice you need. We can make sure that you get the right product that all fit together and work and do what you want it to do. And lastly, just before I finish, I'd like to apologise for the rather stop-start nature of the recording. We are working here under Covid conditions, which means I'm completely by myself, so I have to keep stopping and starting the camera manually. Thank you for watching the video.